Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today I'm going to review the Rinky Fusion X case for Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus smartphone, as well as review and show you how to install the Rinky Dual Easy Film Self Dust Removing Screen Protector. So let's get started. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos like this one, smartwatch and smartphone reviews, tech tutorials, and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find categorized videos of various content we post on this channel. Rinky, who develops premium and awesome accessories for smartwatches and smartphones, reached out to me to review a few of their products, of which I'll be reviewing the Fusion X case and the Dual Easy Film Screen Protector. Just so you guys know, I was not influenced by any means to bias my review, and Rinky sent both of these units out at no charge for me to review and provide my honest opinion. And thanks to Rinky for that. So I'll start with the Fusion X case review and then I'll show you in real time how to apply the screen protector as well as test it out, which in my opinion is the best fail safe and cool innovative way to apply a screen protector. So stick with me till the end. Now Rinky has a whole lineup of their Fusion cases, not just for Samsung but a multitude of smartphones including Apple. So if you don't have a Samsung device, don't you worry, I have linked their Amazon store in the description of this video where you can find your desired case. The one they sent me to review is the Clear Fusion X case for my Galaxy S10 Plus, which currently is retailed at 13 Canadian dollar, which is perfect. You do have a variety of colors and styling options as shown over here, like the Clear, Hexagon, Camo and Wallet. So you can customize in your own way. It basically came in this package which is recyclable and I really appreciate Rinky's effort to be eco-friendly even at this price point. Inside it you will find the case itself with few instructions and a thank you note and coupon codes for their other products on Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, check the links down below as I have linked all their Amazon products. Now let's go ahead and snap it on. I usually start by sliding the side with most buttons while applying pressure on the corners and then slide the other side in just like this. So putting it on was a piece of cake. Believe me there are cases which are really hard to apply and take it off like this one which I'm not even going to talk about. Now let's talk about the cutouts. So at the top you have a cutout for microphone. At the bottom you have the one for headphone. Let me stop here for a second and show you that the cutout is pretty broad which I really appreciate as I have few headset with broader jack and even the broadest one will easily fit in which I felt worth mentioning. And the same implies for the charging cutout uh, as it is apparent that even a bulky charger will easily fit in. Next one for next one is for microphone and the loudspeaker. Now let's talk about button responsiveness and no complaints in this area. All the button works perfectly fine with a nice clicky feeling. Now Rinky is not too heavy on branding. There is a very subtle Fusion X logo on the side as you can see right here. So this case itself feels pretty strong and I personally like the design. I have the prism white color but if you have any other color this case will be a good one to show off your phone's color. Now let me point out some safety features like the bumpers on the side feels pretty strong enough to handle a fall and the phone fits in pretty snug leaving no room for movement. There is a raised lip on top and bottom which will protect your screen if it were to fall flat facing down with the screen. However it will not protect your screen from a direct impact or a scratch on the screen for which we have the dual, fi uh, dual film screen protector coming up shortly. And lastly the camera unit is sunken in the case so a fall on the back will protect your camera. I personally haven't test drop tested it but in, uh, in my opinion I'm pretty sure it will protect the phone from an accidental pocket miss which is most likely the case of a phone drop. 
This case is uh, uh, screen protector friendly, unlike other cases which has a lip around the screen, so you won't be able to apply any screen protector, but this one I can see enough real screen real estate to easily apply a screen protector. And lastly, yes, this is wireless charging capable. So that's it. I hope I covered it all. If I missed anything, please feel free to comment down below. Next up is the dual easy film screen protector for my Galaxy S10 Plus. This came in, the, in their iconic green packaging. Again, just like the Fusion X case, these screen protectors are also available for a multitude of smartphones. Again, links are in the description, so make sure to check them out. This one is priced at 13 Canadian dollar on Amazon, which is again, fairly reasonable. Inside the box, you get a microfiber cleaning cloth, a squeezy for, easy, for ease of application, screen cleaning wipe, and two screen protectors. Now this screen protector is very innovative and patented formula. Unlike other screen protectors where you need to be really precise while placing the protector on and unfortunately if you misplace you don't have any other options or you will end up getting a major air bubble and it will be a waste of money. However, with this uh, it's self dust removing which will be apparent during the application process and super easy to install. You can't go wrong. Let me briefly explain you how this works. So there are four clearly labeled peel tabs. The first one is for the top layer, which you can just place it on the screen and you can even remove and reposition to perfectly align the protector. Any micro dust particle will attach to this layer, which you'll be removing uh, anyways in the next step. So once done, the step number two is you actually remove the top part of the layer that you already applied in the step number one. And that's why it's called self dust removing. Now use the squeegee to apply the main screen protector simultaneously removing the top part of the step one. In step three, you do the same thing for the bottom part. And in step four, you remove the layer on top of the actual screen protector. Now let me show you the entire process in real time in case if there are any micro bubbles they usually disappear in a day or two on their own and at the end I'll test out the fingerprint sensor as well.
So that's it. Just for around $26, you protected your expensive smartphone completely front and back with a flawless application process. So I will definitely recommend both of their product and the screen protector is just amazing. I haven't seen any screen protector with this level of innovation. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.